Over the years, central Queensland experienced ebbs and flows of human resource development until the arrival of the Institute process. With the humble beginning of a few Institute books and core activities, the region grew in size due to a focus on building capacities and structures to sustain growth. When we first introduced the concept of the Training Institute, it was in the context of the need to raise up human resources to take on the tasks of expansion and consolidation. At this juncture, when a new series of plans has just begun, we invite you to take a more expansive view. of the social issues that are happening in our community. The bench that we're sitting on right now was donated by the Baha'i community a few years ago to the local community suicide prevention network. And it's also been an opportunity to engage in dialogue with some of our indigenous elders, so the Durumbal people. This land wouldn't be here if it wasn't for the wisdom of our elders. It's been a lovely journey to really learn how to engage with those who have a desire to create a community which is inclusive and is cohesive and bringing about unity. I, I, I'd like to hope that it continues on this space. activities began 11 years ago. The group naturally progressed to a children's class. We've had to move our classes to the park because we then ended up with two children's classes. In the 30th of December message from the Universal House of Justice, it says the introduction to the concept of the Training Institute was in the context of the need to raise up human resources. And a recent example is my teaching partner doing book three Ruhi with two parents and now one of those parents is running her own children's class in her neighborhood. We think about which area we need to see growth and more importantly thinking about how the families can all participate in social action. Our continual work with the Institute process is proving to be an integral part of our neighborhood society building process. The JY program has increased my consciousness of education by helping me understand that we need to really help young people learn how they can contribute productively to the society around them. The educational program that is facilitated in the junior program really helps young people broaden their perspective of the world around them and help them identify needs in the community and how they can contribute to those needs to uplift the standard of living for all those around them. The children and youth decided to collect food for Yamaha as a service activity for people in need. We did this so people that can't afford food can get some. It really helps them to think critically about the things that they are exposed to in life and how they can overcome any obstacles and challenges that they face. Book one and two, and before this, JY, 
It helped me with literature because we had to do so much reading and writing when learning about spiritual virtues. So when I'm outside, that's when I could use in conversation. So book one and two has influenced my life because it helped me to see people as equals and that we shouldn't treat each other differently. We all come from one God, we all have a soul and spiritual attributes. They finished uh, the JOI program and they decided they wanted to go into the books. So we completed book one, we're halfway through book two. They really seem to enjoy coming and I hope they continue doing more Ruby books. Ich habe etwas wieder, worauf dass ich mich freuen kann. Ich habe ein, ein Treffen mit gleichgesinnten Leuten, äh, wo ich äh, offen empfangen werde, egal von welchem Land ich komme, oder von welcher Region ich komme oder von welcher Religion ich komme. Und äh, ja, das, das hat mich sehr beeindruckt. Wir alle sind eine große Familie, egal wo wir leben. With acceptance, I get more confident. With confidence, I can do the same thing outside to my neighbors, to other people I meet. If we can show this to our neighbors with a smile, surely our neighbors will perhaps do the same to their neighbors and so on. In April 2021, this idea was passed on to us, a grouping of families, grouping capacities. We started meeting regularly on Monday evenings to consult together and learn about the spiritual and the social context of the basis of the institute process. So we could try and bring that into this neighbourhood and at the same time learn how to invite more neighbours so we can grow and build a peaceful, unified and loving neighbourhood. The past decade of rhythmic expansion and consolidation within the grouping of clusters in central Queensland has fostered a culture in which the Institute process is used to build resources and pave the way for the release of the society building power latent in our region. The nine year plan is beckoning to new horizons as these clusters focus on improving the quality of the educational experience. Increasingly, participation in Institute courses is preparing the Friends of God for an ever deeper engagement in the life of the wider community. It is endowing them with the knowledge, insights and skills that enable them to contribute not only to the process of developing their own community, but to the progress of society. In short, the Institute is a potent means for the society-building power of the faith to find release.